A mirrorless camera is similar in many ways to larger SLR or DSLR cameras. But as the name suggests, it doesn't have a mirror inside. Both SLRs and DSLRs have a mirror inside them. This reflects the light coming in through the lens and up to the camera's optical viewfinder, which is the part of the camera you look through to compose the image. When you press the shutter button to take the image, the mirror flips up and the light passes through the shutter curtain and onto the sensor. A mirrorless camera, as the name suggests, removes the reflex mirror. The imaging sensor is exposed to light directly when the shutter is open. This allows you to have a digital preview of your image through an electronic viewfinder and or a rear liquid crystal display LCD screen. This allows you to see on the screen exactly what the image you capture will look like. When you are shopping for a mirrorless camera, it's easy to get lost in a world of technical jargon and features and wonder which of them is actually important. One, Nikon Z6. The Z6 is the best mirrorless camera in the world right now. It features a lower resolution sensor than its more expensive sibling, but that means it actually performs slightly better in low light. Plus it facilitates faster frame rates of up to 12 frames per second. Nikon's new Z6 mirrorless camera received a lot of hype and rightfully so. It checks almost all of the boxes that people were hoping for a full range sensor image, in-body image stabilization, fast continuous shooting at 12 frames per second, a wide range of video speeds, and a tough weather sealed body that is built to Nikon's lofty standards. Plus, with a relatively small form factor and weight of 20.6 ounces, you get much better portability than full frame DSLRs like the Nikon D750, 26.5 ounces, and the hefty D850, 32.3 ounces. Where does the Nikon Z6 fall short? The autofocus system is solid overall, but lags behind the competition in certain aspects, and subject tracking and refocusing in particular. And in choosing between this camera and comparable Sony options, lens selection made the difference. The first four Z mount lenses are good, but not great. Sony is years ahead in this regard, and even Canon's RF initial offerings have faster apertures. But if you already own Nikon full-frame lenses, the Z6 is solid with an FTZ adapter that makes your FX glass fully compatible. A downside for many is the single XQD card slot. 2. Canon EOS M100 The EOS M100 gets you the camera body along with a reasonable 15-45mm to lens as well as a 24.2 megapixel APS-C size sensor, 6.1 frames per second burst shooting, relatively fast autofocus speeds, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. There are a number of native Canon EFM lenses available, plus you can buy an adapter that offers compatibility with Canon's wide range of DSLR lenses. It also is very lightweight at 10.7 ounces, body only. You'll get an average of 295 shots out of a single charge which isn't too bad. The EOS M100 isn't perfect, of course. The biggest omissions are its lack of image stabilization, and it also can't handle 4K video recording. It also does not have a viewfinder, so you can only use the tilting touchscreen for composition, which might be an issue on bright days. But overall, at this price point, this camera is a great deal. Three, Sony Alpha A7R III. Sony has led the full-frame mirrorless market for years, and the Alpha A7R III still is at the top of the heap. This sleek little camera pretty much does it all. You get 42.4 megapixels of resolution, superb autofocus and tracking, in-body image stabilization, 4K video, and weather sealing. Compared to the older A7R II, Sony doubled the burst rate, up to 10 frames per second, added touch functionality on the rear LCD, and changed the battery type, which made a world of a difference. For everything from still photography to videos, it's the best all-round mirrorless camera on the market. Means of the Sony A7R III? At around $2,800 for the body, it's an expensive setup, reserved for enthusiasts with big budgets, and Sony GM lenses aren't exactly cheap either. For those who want to spend less, Sony makes an A7 III below which has a 24.2 megapixel of resolution and many of the same features as the A7R III for about $1,000 less. 
And it's worth noting that Sony's full-frame competition is increasing. Last year, Nikon released its much-anticipated Z6 and Z7 mirrorless cameras, and Canon has released its EOS R. All new systems have limited lens selection and technological hurdles to overcome, but Nikon and Canon surely will be forces to be reckoned with going forward. 4. Sony A9 Managing to turn the heads of even die-hard Nikon and Canon professional DSLR users, the Sony A9 leads the way when it comes to impressive technology. If you're into sports, wildlife or action photography, being able to shoot at a full resolution 20 frames per second, all while tracking focus, and what's more, completely silently, means you'll be able to capture those moments that your DSLR wielding buddies miss. Other specifications include a 24.2 megapixel full frame sensor, a viewfinder that manages to stay blackout free even while shooting at super fast speeds, and a tilting touch sensitive screen. The biggest drawback here is price, but you do get something seriously impressive for your cash. 5. Sony A6000 The Sony A6000 has been around since 2014, but I will keep plugging it as my favorite entry-level mirrorless camera because it offers fantastic value for money. Sony clearly agree. Despite having released two successors, the A6300 and the A6500, the A6000 is still available to buy. For under $600, you get an APS-C sized 24 megapixel sensor, 11 FPS burst shooting, a 36 shot battery life, a wide range of Sony lenses to choose from, Wi-Fi, an electric viewfinder, and a 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens. It's also often available as a bundle with two lenses and all the accessories you'd need for a great price. It is lacking a touchscreen, in-body image stabilization, and it only does 1080p video rather than 4K. The menu system is also a bit hard to get used to, but this is a lot of camera for the money. And if I had under $600 to spend on a mirrorless camera, this is the camera I would buy. 6. Fujifilm X-T3 Fujifilm mirrorless cameras are sleek, well-built, have the truest color rendition of any brand, and the Fujinon lens collection is superb. For uses like travel, portraits, and street photography, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better camera for your money. At the same time, the X-T3 does not have a full-frame image sensor. Many professionals stick exclusively to full-framed, and rightfully so, but the X-T3 is a powerhouse camera in its own right and that should make even the most discerning photographers happy. The X-T3 was released at the end of 2018, so what changed on this camera? The simple answer is that just about everything improved, and the X-T2 wasn't shabby to start. Fujifilm bumped up the megapixel count to 26.1, made major improvements to the autofocus system across the board, and added touch sensitivity to the rear LCD. You also get a faster burst rate at 11 frames per second, a new processor that helps everything function quickly and smoothly, and video features that now are more competitive with the field. The two biggest downsides of the X-T3 are the lack of in-body image stabilization and the relatively short battery life, but those are small hurdles to overcome for an otherwise outstanding mirrorless camera. 7. Canon EOS R Nobody was surprised when Canon launched its own take on a full-frame mirrorless just weeks after Nikon. There are several plus points to admire. The look and feel of the EOS R is classic Canon, but adds a couple of new and useful twists, such as the customizable touch-sensitive multifunction bar just next to the viewfinder. The screen is not only touch-sensitive, but also articulates for handy shooting from all sorts of angles. Image quality is also fantastic, thanks to the full-frame 30.3 megapixel sensor, which produces the goods just like cameras such as the 5D Mark IV. Now for the negatives, a single SD card slot is possibly even more frustrating than Nikon's decision to go for a single XQD, while only offering cropped 4K in an age where video is so important is equally bizarre. The lack of in-body image stabilization is something which also disappoints too. If you can live with those problems, the EOS R makes a lot of sense to existing DSLR owners keen to make the leap to mirrorless. 8. Fujifilm X-A5 Fuji has developed a reputation for mirrorless cameras that has inspired a devoted following. Images produced by their cameras are renowned for their sharpness, and they create great results in most low-light situations. The X-A5 is Fuji's entry-level mirrorless camera, 
launched in 2018, it features a 24.2 megapixel APS-C size sensor, a tilting selfie-friendly touchscreen, 450 shot battery capacity, and it comes with a 15 to 45 mm image stabilized zoom lens. Burst shooting happens at 6 frames per second. And whilst it can shoot 4K video, it's only at 15 frames per second, which is a bit pointless. It's also lacking a viewfinder, which is a trade-off for having such a diminutive size. It uses the Fuji X mount system, which limits your choice to Fuji made lenses, but there are a few of these to choose from, and it also features Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Overall, this is a competitive offering in a small package, and definitely one to consider adding to your shortlist at this price point. 9. Panasonic Lumix GH5 Among its mirrorless peers, Panasonic has had a leg up in the video department for years, and the GH5 is their flagship camera for this purpose. It boasts 4K video speeds that can rival any Pro DSLR, a highly advanced autofocus system, built-in image stabilization, and a tough weather-sealed body that can handle long shoots in a variety of conditions. You also get 10-bit recording, a full HDMI socket, and a host of advanced functionality options. This substantial feature set makes the GH5 a leading choice among professional video shooters looking for a compact setup. Keep in mind that even though the Lumix GH5 is ranked due to its standout video prowess, it's not necessarily the best all-rounder. Those who want a mirrorless camera strictly for video will appreciate the features and functionality of the GH5. 10. Panasonic Lumix GX800 or GX850 The Panasonic Lumix GX850 is also known as the GX800 in some parts of the world. It's one of the Panasonic's many Micro Four Thirds cameras, and this one sits at the more entry-level end of their lineup. Despite being entry-level, this camera is no slouch. It's particularly good for videographers, as it supports 4K video recording, and Panasonic are widely regarded as making some of the best video-oriented mirrorless cameras. Other specifications include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a tilting touchscreen, and up to 10 frames per second burst shooting speed. It will do about 210 shots on a single charge, which is quite low. It also lacks in-body image stabilization, much like the Canon above, although the 12-32mm kit lens does feature Panasonic's image stabilization, there's also no viewfinder. It's also worth remembering that Micro Four Thirds cameras have been around since 2008, and there's good lens compatibility between Panasonic and Olympus MFT systems, which means there's a wide choice of lenses for this camera. 